Hamilton County Sheriff's Department brought the dogs in today, as you can see from this, to the Justice Center. Ten canines and their handlers spent part of the morning searching for heroin and other drugs and contraband. Local Trails Perry Shively is downtown right now and has more on the sheriff's objective. And good afternoon, Perry. Yeah, good afternoon to you, John. Sheriff Jim Neal says that heroin is a big problem both in the community and in the jail, and his team is being aggressive to stop the epidemic. Now, the sheriff believes it will take more than just law enforcement. He says education and prevention is necessary early on and treatment for the people addicted. So today, a random sweep of the Justice Center. Dogs were brought in to sniff out drugs and contraband. It's one of several tools the sheriff's office uses uses to prevent drugs from entering the facility. Now, this is something the office has done before and plans to do more of. Last October, the coroner ruled an inmate in the jail died of a heroin overdose. Officers also dealt with a person who swallowed baggies of heroin before going into the center. If you look at the problems that we have on the outside with heroin, I think it's the driving force of a lot of the aggravated robberies and burglaries and home invasions and uh, a lot of the crime that we have going on in our communities. And the, the reason for that is the strong desire to obtain that drug. And they'll get the funds to do that any way they possibly can. It's no different when they get into jail. Actually, they become more desperate. And Chief Deputy Mark Schoonover says that's because the drug, of course, isn't easy to get in the jail. And the Sheriff's Department, though, has not said whether they found anything there today. Now, if a prisoner did have a narcotic, they would be charged with possession. And if heroin was involved, that's a felony. John, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you. Meantime, the Sheriff's Department also uses extra officers to pat down prisoners before they go into the jail, and screeners are used to scan for items held inside an inmate's body. Civilians, like deputies and attorneys, are also screened.